we're gonna find a fulgurite. So here on the Lake Wales Ridge, we're in the lightning capital of the United States. We get more bolts of lightning coming down here than anywhere else in the country. So this is a perfect spot to look for fulgurites. If we get lucky, we might find the exact spot where the bolt hit the sand. Try to look for clues as to where lightning hit this sand. Did you guys excavate the one over there? Okay. What are they made of? Well, they're made of pork sand, not much else. And there's a variety of glass called Le Chatelierite, and that is coarse glass. So, SiO2. There's some really big strikes that happen, and I see that some of you found some very fat fulgurites. Those are not very common, but they will happen. And the amount of energy in them, we can actually calculate two times the diameter, the energy in megajoules of those fulgurites. Florida's geography is so interesting. You'd think we'd be at the beach with all this sand, but we're in the middle of Florida, and this sand here is millions of years old. This is the Florida stuff in white, but notice this. Have you ever seen orange-colored sand? Well, this has actually come all the way over from Africa on the trade winds. A few million years ago, this entire area was covered by water, and in fact, these are ancient sand dunes. Just on the other side of that sand is where the waves would be breaking. So how do we know that over millions of years this place was covered by water? Well, one clue, so look at this. Here we have shells in the middle of the state. They weren't just dropped here by a tourist. Even more shells! Found a flimsy oyster! Okay. The best place is going to be a sand mine. Okay. Um, they are found on the beach, but it has to do, you know, sand doesn't last as long on the beach as it does on the sand mine. The sand mine's nice and elevated, yep. and so it, it, it keeps them kind of pristine and doesn't uh, hit them with wave action and stuff So like on the beach, it, what about the moisture of the sand? Does that prevent the fulgurite formation? Or? It can, so you do need a layer of dry sand. So if it's uh, if it's right on the beach where the ocean is, it will kind of uh, um, flush in there and it, you don't get as much electricity because it kind of dissipates as soon as it 